Changge is a Filipino term for flea market, bazaar, or just any mock-up market in general. At the Changge, you can find stalls selling a variety of affordable products, be it clothes, shoes, or any personal or home items. Shopping is an integral part of who we are, especially us, women. Allow me to take you on India's own version of a Changge. In India, most of the Changge happens during the holiday season, which is very much like in the Philippines, where we have Changge set up in every corner when the holidays are nearing or when gift giving is required, like Christmas. Here in India, particularly here in the South, Changge come up during festivals like Dasera, Diwali, Christmas, New Year, and even Pongal or the harvest season. There are also promotional changge that features rural artisans from different parts of the country or women entrepreneurs who set up business from home or environment-friendly or organic products that has become popular in the recent days. Commonly called bazaar, a flea market or sometimes a souk, these mock-up markets differ in sizes, target market, and theme. And these factors determine the venue of the event and the manner in which they're advertised for the public to know. In this episode, I will be taking you to two types of changge. One that was held in a fine hotel, which obviously means that their target market is a little upscale. And one that is held in a government community venue that was open for everyone. But in both, I am sure to show you the finest Indian products. First, let's head to the Duchess Utsab an annual shopping festival held at Savera Hotel. From exquisite home decors, fine silk sari materials, fancy frocks and elegant salwar suits, the luxurious and classy jewelry sets, delicately crafted home decors, signature bags, garden accessories, and even food items, the range is just endless. We spoke to a few concessionaires, and this is what they had to say about their products. My, the name of my brand is Oh My mm -hmm. and I have a whole range of condiments which are basically preservative free and no artificial uh, ingredients in them. I have a red pepper pesto, a basil pesto, uh, I have a herb and garlic butter, I have an olive and herb butter, two types of dessert sauces, I've got a salted caramel and a hot fudge okay. and I have three types of nut butters. I've got peanut butters, I've got a honey roasted peanut cream, crunchy and an unsweetened version. And how are you selling them? Do you have it online or? So I participate in small farmers markets and okay. people then contact me once they buy from there. They okay. contact me and uh, I'm on Insta uh, Instagram and on WhatsApp. That's great. I send yeah. out a list every week. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I also have uh, fresh herbs and vegetables that I supply okay. from my farm in Uti. Okay, um, great. So they contact me, uh, let me know what they're and I make small batch. Okay, so, great. Uh, even if it's for a single jar that people want, I make it for them and I oh, send them across. Oh, that's, that's great, yeah. yeah. This gorgeous lady has a Facebook page where she posts her products and where her clients can contact her. She is also on Instagram. Just like her, there is a wide range of other food products in the bazaar, like pickles, powdered condiments, even supplements made of organic products. Another lovely lady who caught my attention was selling interesting home decors and trinkets that truly captivated me and my purse. Made up of metal, okay. which, is metal uh, which is rust free painted. Uh -huh. So you can hang it in your balcony, in your entrance door. Uh -huh. This is again LED lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So you can hang it in anywhere, uh, on your side top table, anywhere. So and then so you have it from Chennai? Yeah, I'm from Chennai. Okay. But this is coming from North India. Uh -huh. and this is a very unique product. I'm into wedding planning. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm a wedding planner. So yeah. I require all these items from my Okay. So here I give it for bulk order also. Mm -hmm. So if you want to give your customers and clients, yeah. call us. Another thing that we couldn't ignore is this stack of marinades that looks so appetizing. And so we headed and asked the beautiful woman manning the stall. We basically have some marinades. We have eight different flavors. We have actually picked up popular barbecue marinades from around the world. So we have uh, Jamaican jerk marinade. Uh, we have the peri peri. 
uh, marinade and uh, we have the Thai satay, satay marinade. Uh, we have a Indian tandoori. I'm sure everybody knows what tandoori is. Yes. Yeah. So we have these eight flavors. This is a shish tau, which is a Middle Eastern kebab. So we, all these are homemade uh, and we have not added any preservatives or no MSG to this. We were almost ready to head home and get cooking, but not yet because the fine jewelry laid out on the stall of this nice woman from Mumbai was calling me. So this is our company Zoya. Yeah. And we do a lot of imitation jewelry. Mm -hmm. And we have all kinds of jewelry for that. Mm -hmm. So one of these, if you could see, mm -hmm. these are all in silver with yeah. pearl stones. So it's like a nice for destination and for everyday wear, which is good. Then we have in silver with Swarovski. Yeah. Right? So also, then we have a few nice malas and everything. Mm -hmm. And then this is one of the best things that we have is uh, our handcrafted jewelry. Mm -hmm. They have semi-precious stones in them. Okay. And then you can see the variety that we have. Yeah. All selective pieces. Yeah. All good ones. I hope you like it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess we had enough in our shopping bag, so let's head out to the Great Indian Flea Market happening at Kalakshetra Foundation in Tiruvannamur. Just like the Duchess of Sub, the Great Indian Flea Market is an annual event and this year is their 8th season. Join me as we find out what they have in store for us. These flowers were made of dry parts of plants, silver jamkas and other traditional jewelries handcrafted by local designers. Inherently Punjabi and typically Indian duties in different designs color and sizes, traditional cookwares, and finally weave baskets. A wide range of materials for saris and kurtis, as well as ready-made dresses. Artisans displaying their skills, beautifully embroidered sari blouses, beautiful traditional handicrafts from Orisa, more fashion jewelries, bangles, bangles, and many more bangles, delicately crafted leather goods, home decors made from metal, hand-painted lamps, ceramic items, traditional Indian home decorations, totem poles, steel and wooden furniture pieces, rugs and carpets, crockeries, interesting wall hangings, wood carvings for your home, fashionably crafted party bags, wooden creations, antiques, Paintings, terracotta items, metal idols, home plants, the list is simply endless. So the next time you need a thing or two for your home, a gift for a friend or a colleague, an outfit for that upcoming wedding in the family, be on the lookout for these changge or bazaars because I can assure you that you won't just get a good bargain but you will also have a wide range to choose from, not to mention you might be helping a rural artisan or a budding entrepreneur. As I continue browsing through the shops, I request you to please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video, and for my social media links, please click on the description box below. And as I always say, please remember that life is a journey and not a race. So don't forget to have fun along the way. Life is short. Eat that cake, buy that shoes, shop. Visit the next Changye coming up in your city.